social media and especially what we expect from social media in order to build our businesses, it is failing us. It is failing us, it is failing our people, and it is failing our business. Today I wanna to talk about why that is, why our expectations are wrong, how social media is failing us, and what I am gonna do in my own business to fix it. And it involves a new book club. And you wanna to listen to the end today because there is a deadline for something very exciting, a way for you to participate in my podcast. If you're new here, hi, welcome. So glad you're here. I am Tara Swiger. I'm a podcaster, an author, and a foster mom. I've been fostering kids for about a year. I help women build businesses that they really love while still taking care of themselves, taking care of their mental and emotional well-being. I have a weekly free podcast, Explore Your Enthusiasm, where I share weekly lessons for your handmade, creative, artistic business. And I do a vlog on YouTube and IGTV where I share a little bit about behind the scenes, what I'm reading, what I'm thinking, and what I'm working on. What I've realized this summer is social media is failing us. It is failing us because it is not showing you. Those of you who want to see either updates on my fostering journey or updates on what I'm working on or new episodes of my podcast that came out this summer, it is not showing you what you want to see. If I take a break from actively posting because I'm taking care of my new foster babies or I am driving six hours to help take care of my sick grandpa, both things happened in the past two weeks, then social media stops showing you anything from me. Like if I take a break, when I come back, it stops showing you stuff. And the thing that it does is if I post anything unrelated, so if I post my sketchbooks, post a plan with me video on YouTube and it does really, really well, it only shows my planner videos to the people who wanted to see that planner video. When in fact, they might've liked the planner video because they like my process of map making, which is in my book, Map Your Business. Social media wants us to be one thing and to show that one thing and like me, you're probably not just one thing. You're probably lots of things. And the people who buy and love your work would like to see more of what inspires you, more of what's behind the scenes. If it's books you're reading or it's other crafts you're doing outside of the craft you sell, people wanna see that, but social media punishes us for that. So this leads me to get messages like I got last week. Hey, I have loved your podcast, working with you, and listening to you has given me so much encouragement over the years, it's helped me so much, and I haven't been seeing anything from you, and I've had a really hard summer, and I realize that it's likely because you haven't been in my life, I just wanted to tell you I've really missed you. And of course I thanked them, but I realized like I've been posting stuff, I've had a new video on YouTube sometimes two times a week, all summer. I have been posting on Instagram at least a couple times a week and in Instagram stories, but because I wasn't doing it at the level I used to do it, because some of it was unrelated, like some of my most popular content has been about just updates on our foster care journey, then when I post something that most of you followed me to see, which is encouragement of your business, uh, Instagram and YouTube assumed you didn't want to see that because you reacted so much to the foster care stuff because I'm more than one thing. I have like a, a deep and wide and complex life like all of you. So it's failing you because if you follow someone for encouragement and advice and the social media tool is not showing you that, it's a failing you. But it's also failing you because it's doing this to you in your business. When you think that you're gonna post something to Instagram and all of your people are gonna see it and then they don't, it's failing you. Now, I understand that it's working in the way that it wants to show people the stuff they really wanna see and it wants to um, filter out the really markety, spammy stuff, but so many of us, our audiences want to hear from us and they just assume that if you're not posting the same thing every single day, then your audience doesn't wanna hear that. That's a real bummer for you and for the people who love what you're doing. The good news is, is that there are ways to solve this. So. Email marketing is the big one. Email marketing reaches 98% of the people who you send it to. And those are people who have signed up to hear from it. That is why I teach and I focus on email marketing in my class inside the Starship program. I focus on my marketing on tools that don't require you to have a large numbers, but rather help you reach the people who you do have. I just wanna reiterate that. Your business success is not based on how many followers you have, but on how, much people 
are engaged and hear about the thing you have and want to buy it. It's not about how many just like people passively follow you, but how many people actually want to buy from you and know that you have stuff available. <laughs> you can also use tools that keep you kind of um, falsely consistent online, right? Like m make it seem like you're showing up even when you're not. I'm gonna share some of those in an upcoming episode of Explore Your Enthusiasm. So be sure if you're watching this on YouTube, you subscribe below so that you can get that upcoming episode. It goes live on all of the podcast apps, but it also goes live here on YouTube. If you're watching this on Instagram, click over and either sign up to get these in your inbox or subscribe in your favorite podcast app. So we're going to talk about tools to stay consistent, but I have found another solution, particularly for me and for you to get the encouragement that you want and not miss it. This is for those of you who love the podcast, who get a lot out of the podcast, uh, whether you have a business and it's already like gone through the Starship program and graduated, whether you have a business that's just starting and you're not quite ready for the Starship yet, or perhaps you don't even have a business and you just like the encouragement. I see you. I hear from you. Or if you want to make sure that you get all the foster care updates or you really love my reading posts, my reading reviews. I've been getting comments on that. I really love hearing from you about that. Or maybe you want book recommendations or maybe you want to join a book club with me and like we can read and talk about books together without worrying that the algorithm shows you when I go live is you or you want to support what I'm doing through my podcast and my emails and my Instagram post for free encouraging artists and makers in growing their business then this is how you can get all of that no matter what the algorithms do so patreon ensures that you see absolutely everything I post it shows you everything in one feed I'll be putting all of my free stuff in there I'll be putting my podcast my weekly vlog any Instagram lives that I do I will also be going live just to patrons um, depending on the foster care situation which is still really up in the air right now with our current placement i'll be going live more and less some months but the fun thing is patreon won't punish me on months that i need to not go live as much so so let me post the things that i don't post in other places because algorithm wouldn't like it like paint with me videos unboxing videos how i use specific essential oils on my monthly tbrs so for just a dollar a month you can get the feed of absolutely everything and it will include at least one bonus video every single month that bonus video will be my monthly tbr or it will be a bookstore tour or it will be a library haul the thing about patreon is you can decide what gets emailed to you and what doesn't so you can get an email of every single new thing I post if that's how you like to get your updates. Whereas I don't want to send emails to everybody on my list of everything I post because they might not want to see all that. $2 a month, you get all of that, plus you get to join the book club. So the book club is going to be a book that you guys choose, you'll vote on, and we'll talk about. Currently, we're going to start doing it just once a quarter until we get through the holidays and we get a little more um, stability in our foster care placement. We might move up to doing it every other month, but you will get to vote on that. You will vote on how we discuss it. If we joined at a higher level, I'll actually send you the hardcover copy of the book um, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, later after we've all had a chance to read it we'll have a couple discussions about it so I'm so excited to have a book club and the fun thing is it's only two dollars a month for you to join I am doing this so that I can hang out and connect with more of you it is the kind of trend in businesses like mine to continue to offer higher and higher price things to a smaller and smaller group of people but I want to help all of you who have businesses that maybe don't make a thousand dollars a month yet or who maybe don't want to invest in some high level coaching you just need regular encouragement so many of us know what we need to do we just need encouragement and conversations to keep us going and that's what i'm thinking the patreon is going to do so here's the thing if you join by september 1st at any level join by september 1st i will give you a shout out in a September episode of the podcast. I'm gonna say you and your business, and in the show notes, I'm going to link to you and your business. So what that means, I will link to you in on my site in the show notes, in the app, in the podcast app in the show notes, and on YouTube. So be linked in three places. That's for anybody who supports my business at any level by September 1st. You want to be thanked publicly for all the world to know you support explore your enthusiasm head to patreon.com slash tara spiker and i just want to thank you so much for being here throughout this real season of change and upheaval in my life i'm so glad you're here and i can't wait to hang out with you all fall thanks and have a great day